Hey all, and welcome back to Stray. After many trials and tribulations, we finally made it to the second level of this hellhole. Well, it's a nice hellhole, relatively speaking, but it's a hellhole nonetheless. And we came to Midtown to find an atomic battery within the bowels of Neko Core. So, uh, why don't we go ahead and see what we can do here. Let's go commit cat crimes with cat stealth. Hmm. Not sure about this one. Well, thankfully they have a very big, very visible uh, column of light, which we are demonstrating here. They're not very smart. No. <laughs> well, that's good because I'm terrible at stealth, so it kind of all balances out. Yeah, let's go, cat run. Booyah, baby. Now, I have heard tell of the stealth necessary to get this atomic battery. So, uh, we'll see what's what. We might take a bullet or two in the face, but that's just kind of how it goes, baby. Thankfully, our cat can, uh, run, can hide, can leap, can do all that stuff, and, uh, quiver. Quiver also. <laughs> Indeed so. Now, there is an achievement for completing this chapter without getting seen, and it is called Sneak Kitty. Oh. Hey, good thing you're here. You can help me. I lost the keys to my place in this dark and huge factory. The Sentinels refused to help me. They told me, if no place to go, more work here. If by any chance you could help me find them, I'd be eternally grateful. Fuck all in my inventory right now, mate. You'll have to wait a second. Yeah, we can't show him various things. He'll be like, that's not my keys. You can keep trying. I like how the music's a, a wee bit demented here. It's a little off. Now, if he was looking down there, I'd assume that's where the keys were, but that's just me. Mm, possibly. Maybe he is just doing more of his job as a light holder. Now, was I meant to go up there? Actually, not really sure. Or do I go down here? Nope, that's pure shit water. Yeah, don't touch that. Even cats know shit water is disgusting. Down there seems more appropriate, I think. So, right, it's our first time through the game. We gotta take chances, make mistakes and whatnot. Yeah, it's just like the magic school bus, except we're cats and Arnold is not dying in space. Bad. Jesus. Alright, so over here... Ah, I see it. Ah, yes. I completely spaced on this thing. That is an Anton blunder. Hey, no worries. I completely missed it as well. There we go. Back down here. And that looks like that opened that nice door for us. There we go. Why did you program me to only look at the same angle over and over? Because fuck you, lol. Ah, ah I see. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I like that. But I wanted to talk to that guy. Now I can't. Well, he's doing his job. Let him work. <laughs> let him cook. <laughs> I was gonna say, let him cook. <laughs> but he's just wiping the floor. Let the man cook. <laughs> It's one of my favorite recent things. Just like, yeah, let him cook, man. I saw something over here. The worker keys! Go bring them back. Let's be a good cat. Oh, Jesus. But now we have to go backwards. Run! Fuck! It's okay, we got it. We got it, we got it, we got it. We're good. Hey, dude. Hey, bro. No way, you found them. Thank you so much, I've been stuck at work for so long. Come here, I have something I can give you in return. Hell yeah, baby. Symbol of fascist oppression. The Neko badge. Hey, you know what? I'll say this. Some of those companies that may be horrible, they do in fact have real good-looking, you know, pictures. <laughs> 
Alright, I thought you were going to say product, but no, it's just pictures. Well, you know, it's like, sometimes it's cool to have a logo of a company on you, even if you disagree with them personally. Yeah, just a big old middle finger towards minorities. We hate minority core. <laughs> well, m maybe not them. <laughs> yeah, but they make good snack cakes, Taddy. You told me so yourself. That is true. Those snack cakes do hit different. We got a box over here. We got a thing here. Okay, so we're back. Um, that was a bit weird. We got into several loops with these guys. Mm-hmm. I think there's a box right there just in case, but we shouldn't need it. Okay, so yeah, that was a shortcut. Good luck at that, Tata. Yeah, so that'll be useful if uh, we have to do this again, because it seems like there are not many checkpoints uh, to help us get the key back to the guy. Well... You come to Neko Core, you've come to do things correct. Oh, that's a small shadow. Not even entirely sure if there are any memories in Neko Core. I haven't been keeping an eye out as uh, much as I should be doing. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'm keeping my eye out too, but it's the big thing is the stealth, obviously. Oh, I see a laser gate that perhaps we could roll on through. Hmm. No, don't don't go through it. Ah, but you see something you can roll with. Okay, so that's the entrance. Good. I know of a few memories back in Midtown, so uh, provided the game doesn't shunt us directly to the subway to get out of here. Get out of here! <laughs> then we'll uh, be good to go. If if my eyes doth not betray me, that might be the battery in the middle there. Oh shit! Well, I mean, it's glowing like it can be picked up, so yeah. So now we need to find a way to get it out. And what is this? What do we, how do we turn? Oh, oh, it's a friend! Oh, it's a friend! It's not quite R two D two or God knows even. BB1, but, you know, we'll make do in the post-apocalypse. It's another friend stuck in there. Can we hop on in? Yes, we can. Oh, good boys. And just like the audience, you'll forgive any cuts that you see, because Ed Tom, recording late at night on a game he hasn't played in a week, starting with stealth, not a good combination. Nope, it is not. Uh, but hey, you know what? We're all here. We're giving you a good viewer experience, and I'm I'm very happy that our cat has used a friend to make another friend. Just like Dr. Giro, but he made Android 17 and 18. That was definitely the point. Absolutely nothing to do with war and violence. Okay, so we land the barrel on this last thing, and that should release the atomic battery. Yeah, for us to grab. And run around with, which is terrifying to think about. Mine. Oh no. This was kind of expected, huh? You know, setting off an alarm. We got it! Quick, let's get out of here before the Sentinels show up. We've got to get this battery back to Clementine. Aha. And now we're free! Convenient bucket. Why is your factory set up like this? You know what? Maybe it's in their spare time a playground for cats. Maybe that was part of the original programming. It just makes sense. Okay, well, while we're here... We could do a little bit of shopping, because there are some, uh, memories that I happen to miss. I know you, uh, were watching some stray videos now that we recorded some, so I'm sure leading up to where we're at, you see some new stuff. Yeah. Ah, uh, Albert. Bless you. Okay, so one of them was around here. I like Albert a lot, because with him I can, uh, play any video file I want. Talking VLC, Tanner. 
<laughs> I mean, that's what the cone is, right? It was definitely here somewhere. Am I missing it? I guess we'll see. There is also the chance that because we're in a later part of Midtown, it might not be here as opposed to the beginning. But yeah, we'll explore. Might as well. We didn't do too much when we were here. We we're kind of kind of booking it. Love the red. We explore it. We cats and we explore it. <laughs> Just knocking all this stuff down. Who goes there? Not I. Not Kitty. Um, meow. It's, but actually, like, it's actually a meow this time. <laughs> God damn it, Tanner. I tried to wipe that from my memory. Here we go. This spot is nice. What I won't give to actually feel the softness of the pillows or the taste of a cold drink. This drone is useful, but I miss having my own body. I miss feeling. I even miss hurting and being hungry. I know this isn't helping, but what if we stayed just a little longer? Thanks for listening. I'm ready now. Nice. Well, since you asked so nicely, bro. Whenever I read about people that are like, Oh, I just want to, you know, upload my consciousness to like a machine so I can live forever, even after death. All I think of is like, bro, but what about feeling? Is it really living if you're not feeling? Bro. Cool. We good. I would love a compilation of places you can sit in games that cause the camera to pan around. Those are very good places. Oh, big stretch. <laughs> So-called free thinkers when they see a cat stretching. <laughs> Oh, God almighty. Okay, I know of two more. One is in the barbershop, which is right here. And another is in the uh, the chef's place. Okay, okay. <laughs> Little shithead. Why do you get a memory guide up, though? Sure. The barbershop was a social hub where people would gather, talk, tell jokes, share secrets, be possessed by weird talky things in that one movie, Soul. It was a fun place. Even after the humans were gone, the companions kept the shop going. Turns out hair is not a necessary ingredient for a successful barbershop. Nice. Haha! I have dirtied your store, what do you say to that? Ouch! Huh, what's that weird feeling? You know, work is work, Slipey. Don't lose your head about it. <laughs> Ever since that one scene in Shenmue, I've always been a bit, uh, feeling a bit weird about people doing the, the close shaves on ya. Uh-huh. Boardwalk Empire would be another one of those. <laughs> Physics. Ooh. Yeah, I was actually watching Pat's playthrough, and he got pretty much 100% of the memories up to the point I stopped watching. It's interesting to see robots mimicking human work and behavior. Here they seem to sell burgers and street food. I remember my favorite place to go when I was human. It was small and welcoming, and the server's name was... I don't remember. It started with M, I think? Nice. So I'm missing 2, 3, and 4. There is also one more that is open now that we're back from uh, from the factory, which should be just out here, actually. Uh, at the security checkpoint, which we passed a couple times there, uh, should be a door to the left of the security checkpoint, it says. There should be something around here that should be open now. Maybe not Maybe not this far left, but around this area now, finally. Ah, oh, this is a checkpoint, yeah. Hello. We hate you now. Fuck the police. 
bar. Bar. Just says when you reach the central plaza, look to the uh, left at the security checkpoint window to find a door that has been opened. Ah, uh, this place, yeah. You're right, yeah, this wasn't open before. Remember, cool drone. The Sentinels. They were meant to protect people. Fighting crime and maintaining order. But as life became harder in the city and groups started to rise up, the Sentinels quickly became the hounds of the powerful. They were the perfect tool to keep the city under control. Obedient, unquestioning, tireless. Even after the end of humans, they continued to exert their control. Always on duty. Relentless. Yeah, that ain't great. Can't get number one because it's at the very start of the chapter past the point of no return, so... That's alright, that's for, uh, for a later playthrough stuff. Indeed. I believe after you beat the game, you unlock... Uh, level select or something similar. You can already go back to previous chapters, but I believe that would require playing the entire game again. So, uh, let's look at the memories here. Uh, can I get three, four, and five? Uh, well, see see the gray block? That's the first gray block is one. So we have uh, two, three, four, five. Uh, so yeah, we, we can't get that one. We got the next four, and then the last one we will be getting later. Alright, so direct me towards five, please, Moe. Uh, that one is... I'm looking. I'm looking. It's not the best. It's okay. I'll go about with my business. Uh, should be in the nightclub. Ooh, I don't think we've actually been in the nightclub. Which is also, actually, where we have to go for the plot, I guess. Nice. Yo, what's up? Huh. Consider this. Tomorrow, if I replace my arm with another robotic arm, and then the next day, my other arm too, and then my body, and so on, until I've replaced all my parts and upgraded my software, will I be the same robot you are talking to now? <sighs> yes, I have also watched WandaVision. You're not special. So I think this came out at, like, nearly the same time as WandaVision, or at least when it was in, like, the public conscious. And uh, I remember people saying, like, dang, we sure keep hearing about the ship of Theseus. Club's closed. Get lost. Wow. <laughs> R rude. Hmm. If only we could maybe find a way in through the roofs. Maybe. Hello. Oh, it's just the hat store. Oh. Hator is not even here anymore. Interesting. Do you think the criminal is eyeing my collection of vintage cards? Somehow I doubt it. All this work for nothing. Hey, you think you can stop us from hiding in our digs? It might be a good idea to maybe go check in with uh, Clementine's apartment after, too. Tra -la 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 -la. Oh, Jesus. Oh, looks like they're looking for her. So I wasn't expecting there to be armed security. No, like I, we saw the guards, but we didn't think they'd be in here here. You know nothing. He's just swaying. Fucking rent cops. So we're gonna have to be real careful. That is where we need to... Or no, that's not where we need to go. We need to go to the three, which I think is a different one. Nice. Ah, can't get up there. He's just going back and forth. Hey. There we go. Yeah, we need to head up there. Stealth has never been my forte, but now that we're out of the oppressive digs of the factory, doing a little bit better. Is that going to swing round? I think it might. Hmm, or... Yeah, there we go. What about you? You will. It's right there! 
Hello. <laughs> Just peep my head back out. <laughs> <laughs> Clementine. Oh, you who? He's got the good cush going. Indeedy so. <laughs> hey. Are you in here? No, I see you're smoking your sapphire or whatever. Got the, the healing power of crystals, man. I know about the healing power of crystals. Is there a memory around here? It sure seems like it. It is not. That's just dust. It's just like dust in the wind, man. Whoa. There should be some stuff to look at in here for sure. Some things to click on and see. Ah, a note. A clue board, even. Clem? Huh. No sign of Clementine. Oh, what's that? It looks like some kind of a coded message. We're going to have to play detective to figure out what happened to her. Look! For B12 and the cat, the answer lies in my stuff, and then there's four symbols. It's signed Clementine. Take a look. Okay, so plant crystal, bong of a bong. They might all actually just be four very creative bongs. <laughs> I guess so. My senses can only detect harmless chemicals in a gaseous state. They can't recreate the calming sensation I remember. Like me, companions can't smell, so I wonder why they do this. There is also a message hidden under the container. It says, I'm with... Jesus. Didn't realize we were going to have to play Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> I'd like to buy a Meowl. Ah, I see. Flog yourself for that later, by the way. I will, I have the whip. <laughs> what? This gem is of medium value and low purity. The glow seems to have been added artificially. Maybe it acts as a beacon for us to find something useful. Bingo. There is a message. It says, I'm with Blazer. Mm-hmm. Just going by the previous one. Atana has already kind of slipped up and told me where Clementine is. But whatever. I'll go through the motions, I guess. <laughs> It's fine. It's it's act surprise. <laughs> Whoa! Huh. What odd thing to have in an apartment. Is this the way the companions here see humans? It's kind of funny. Look, something's been left here. It says, I'm with Blazer. Come to... Gosh, Tanner, I wonder where they could be. Hmm. To be fair, though, it is like the one place we haven't been able to get into. I did see the lava lamp up there. Ah, you found something? Hmm, huh, I don't see anything. Are you sure? Okay, whatever. Ah. Oh, well, it's not a real lava lamp. It's an electric one, which is good. Don't look up what lava lamps can do if you accidentally drop one. It's terrifying. Okay, I have no idea what this is, but the glow is kind of mesmerizing. Sorry, I was elsewhere. I didn't even notice this message here. It reads, I'm with Blazer. Come to the nightclub. Nice. That's it. Well done, Lieutenant Cat. B12's becoming more and more human. Mm-hmm, that's for sure. To be fair, if you learned you were human, you would try and become more human. I guess so, yeah. Alright, back now we go. I know, I was cutting it close. Yeah, right through the corner there. I love that they look at walls. So do I. Okay, and then down to the main floor where we haven't really... We kind of ran through that, so we actually got to look at the pattern. Speed! Nope. You saw nothing. Nope, 
no, 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 no. Swoosing around. Haha, -ha, eat my dick. My small cat dick. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it wouldn't have been spayed or neutered. We don't know the gender. Yo, look at him. They're getting crunk. <laughs> They're just going to town. I don't think they were there before. It's not for you. Go away. Do you want an atomic battery? <laughs> Let's talk to these guys. They look cool. I don't think the bouncer is going to let us in. Hey guys, I think we're going to have to climb at the back again. They even capitalized the C in climb. Now before we do, there is one thing I wanted to take a look at. And it's in the uh, the back alley somewhere. It's a, uh, a climbing exercise. I don't think it's this way. It's to get a badge, I'll just tell you that now. Sure, yeah, why not? If you, if you know where it is, we might as well. We are probably going to be here forever at this rate. <laughs> I mean, this is the hub area, right? Hub areas are, are pretty big, and I don't even really, yeah, recall us exploring much up here. We pretty much stayed on the, the ground here. There we go. Now we're trying to get to a window with bars on it. Okay, I'll, I'll keep my eyes ajar. And there it is. Huh, he's dead. Thanks. I want to make sure I show off a few things I learned from other playthroughs before we end. For sure, for sure, but just the idea of like stealing a tarnished cop's badge like that's pretty it's pretty strong and kind of goes uh, against our our fascist corporation badge there you know it's now now it's ironic hey i am a guy with many conflicting ideals you'll never know which side i support on an, any given day <laughs> There's a place around here with a safe, but I'm not entirely sure which place it is. Get out of my way. Da, da, da. We's just exploring. Oh, I think this is the place. Nice. Hey. Nice cap. The code is... Well, that's backwards, so it would be 8542. I'm gonna take a screenshot of that to uh to make it so we know. Eight five. Oh, it's just right here. Okay. I was expecting it to be like across the map or something, but no. There we go. That's cool. Look at my badges there. Hell yeah. Cat punk. Okay, so go back to memories for a sec. Are you sure I can't get number five here? It says that one there, which I can look. Oh, I know where that is. The very entrance subway area, which it does say is before point of no return. But hey, the guide might be wrong. This IGN guide has led me astray before. A uh, astray! That wasn't even on purpose. Outsider. Oh, it was just right here. So perfect. Hi. There are so many books here. The Turing Test Legacy, The Ethics of Artificial Intelligence, Should I Turn Myself Into a Robot, all the classics. I recognize some of these. Did I have a library? I remember nothing was quite like the smell of books at the turn of a page. It was a feeling, almost like comfort. A book was like spending time with someone. There we go. It's like, are, are you going to talk to me? No, we're not going to talk to you. Okay. You. Fuck off. <laughs> this game would be very different if you replaced the meow with just a fuck off sound every time you pressed it. Alright, so we got to go in through the back. Somehow through the back. Hello. If you are looking for some company to talk about poetry, I live behind the elevator. But Obar. Oh, hey. That's a good marker for where we need to go. Yeah, just have VLC looking at it. Hello, Pimbot. Yo, this dude's got style. Howdy. How are you doing today? Okay, well, you have nothing to tell me. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, but he's just cool. Hey, how'd you get up here? You want to party with us? Here, jump in and go get a drink. This is the best future. Cats can go to clubs. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yo, what up? Can't even see me in the gas anymore. You like my mask? I made it myself. It jams the sentinel scans, and it looks cool. Oh, I love the concept of uh, clothes that destroy facial recognition. He's just chilling. Maybe a little bit too much chilling. I paid extra to get tonight's dance moves from the bouncer. He's the one programming the holograms in his spare time. Oh man, dance DLC in real life. That's kind of dystopian, but will happen. No. Probably best not to use the atomic battery here. Not Daft Punk here. Hey everybody, DJ Machi here. Let's get the party started. The first song has been requested by a very questionable friend, Blazer. Well, okay. Would you like to know where the memory is? Uh, let me have a little looky poo around here first. No worries. I'm on backup if you need me. Hey. Hey, customer. The access to the VIP balcony is closed. Some private biz is going on there. It's been reserved by some blazer guy, I think. Oh, that solves that problem. Talking to Willy Wonka up there. <laughs> Big old top hat. Fancy. Take strange drink. Huh, this is a dumb waiter, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe try standing in it for a bit. Okay. Ah, I see. He leads without spoiling. This time. <laughs> Big old video game secrets. When I was human, my friends and I would gather and party long into the night, even if we had to suffer the annoying consequences of the next morning. It felt good to find joy despite the unlivable surface, and the underground living conditions becoming more and more squalid, and the capitalistic greed of companies like Necocore, and the police state created by the Sentinels. Now I remember why we were doing that. Yeah, I was going to say, all that sounds like a good excuse to drink. So, one, two, three, four, five. We've only missed about five or so of the memories, and hey, if there is a level select after we beat the game, maybe we can just go back and get them. Alright, so nothing there. I assume there's only one memory in the club. Yeah, that's actually the last one for this chapter. Will no one sort out this washing up? Sorry, I'm just testing out the dub wire. <laughs> you gotta stress test it every now and then. Gotta make sure it works. <laughs> I seriously thought for a second there that he was just stuck standing at the angle and we have to just <laughs> look at that for the rest of the game. Alright, let's find a way up to this balcony. Wasn't that someone who wanted something here? It might be. It might be a good idea to just talk to whoever we can. Yeah, he's just going whoosh and whatnot. Give it to the left. Give it to the right. Beat, boop, sweep, sweep. It's called the Zegema Dance. Zegma balls! A bit too close to Smegma for my liking. <laughs> Pff, this club sucks. When I tried to go to that stupid VIP room, they kicked me out. Me? Can you believe it? So I stole this lever just for kicks. 
you get me a drink, I'll give you this silly lever. I don't need it, and I don't want to be caught with it. Well, since you asked so nicely. Oh, thanks, my friend, who is not a robot. That's weird. Here you go, <laughs> as promised. Remember, don't accept drinks from strangers at a club. Especially if they're a cat. Well, now we know what we can do with the lever. Ah, oh, Jesus, what are you doing? I crushed the hologram. Is that it? Oh, I see it. Then they come and fix it. Nice. Yeah, now we get up. Oh, cool. This is almost ridiculous, just the level of cats causing mischief. Interesting. Do I need to press more buttons? I would assume you gotta press many buttons as a cat. Okay, so I guess you have to do it in the correct order. Try that one and we'll see. I think you know what? Yeah, let's try this, let's try this combination here. This looks pretty open for us. Yeah. There we go. Over there. Into a cutscene. And then he just goes downstairs where we were before. Aw, oh, son of a bitch. Hello. I have a very good relationship with the Sentinels. I don't understand why people complain about them so much. Atomic battery. I don't think <laughs> I'll be interested in what you have to give me. I already have access to everything. Let me dance now, please. Fuck you, then. Well, I'll think about you. Man, these uh, bottles sure are quite strong. Oh. Clementine. Wait, you don't have a physical bath. This is just for show. Blazer. Oh, God, it was a trap the whole time. I actually didn't see that coming. No, me neither. I wonder if the reason that Clementine is making mouth noises is because, again, they're trying to be human. And they just know humans, when tied up, can't speak. Business is money. And I value money way more than friendship or camaraderie. They are all yours. 